Okay, so we're now displaying all of the messages within this chat page. Let's add the ability to send a message now. So if the user fills in this field and clicks the button or hits enter, then we want to save that message data to our Firebase database in two different places. We want to save it to our data. So our chats, our user ID, their user ID, and push that message data here, and also to their data. So chats, their user ID, our user ID here. If you're new here, my name's Danny, I'm an indie app developer, and if you want to learn how to create cross-platform apps for iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows from a single code base, click subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's open up our store file and add a new action for sending a message. So we'll open up store.js, and I'll add a new action here called Firebase Send Message. And we're going to pass in a payload to this with our message data. So for now, we're just going to log out that payload, save that. And now I'm going to jump back to the chat page. So pages, page chat dot view. Um, we're currently firing this send message method and this form down here is submitted. And this is currently trying to push the message data to a messages array which doesn't exist anymore. So instead, we're going to send this data to our action. So first of all, we need to map that new action to this component. So I'll add that action to this map actions function here to this array. So Firebase send message. And this push line, I'm going to replace that with this method. So this dot Firebase send message. Okay. So we're currently sending the message data to this action, but we're also going to need the other user's user ID, which we have in our root parameter. So I'm going to stick this message data here within an object called message. And I'm also going to pass in the other user's user ID. So we'll call that other user ID. And we'll grab that user ID from our root parameter which we can do like this. So I'll copy that from there, paste that in there, save that. Uh, let's see if this data is being sent correctly. So I'm going to clear the console, enter a message. I said, how are you? God damn it. Okay, we can see that payload being logged out. We can see our message data and we can see the other user's ID. Okay, so now we have the data that we need within this action. We want to write this message to our Firebase database, both in our data and in the other user's data. So let's set up a ref to write this message data to our data first. So Firebase DB dot ref. We're going to write to chats slash our user ID, which we have in our state at state dot user details dot user ID slash the other user's ID, which we're passing in with this payload. So that's going to be at payload dot other user ID. So chat slash our user ID slash payload dot other user ID. And previously we've used the set method to write data to the Firebase database, but the set method will replace a node in the database completely. But in this case, we just want to push some data underneath a node. So in this case, we want to push a new message underneath this node here. And we can use Firebase's push method to do this. And Firebase will create its own IDs for us. So let's jump back to this Firebase send message action and this ref, and we're going to use the push method this time. So we want to add dot push and then the data we want to send, which is in payload.message. Okay, so this should write the data to our data in the database, but we also want to write it to the other user's data. And if we look at our message data currently, the from property is set to me. But when we write this message to the other user's data, we want to set this to them, because this is not a message from them, it's from us. So 
before we set up the ref to write the data to the other user's data, I'm going to set payload.from equal to them. And then I'll set up the ref for the other user's data. So Firebase, in fact, I'm just going to copy this line and switch these IDs around. Because this time we're going to write to chats slash their user ID slash our user ID. So I'll just swap those around. Click save. If you found this video useful so far, make sure you smash the like button and leave a comment telling me what kind of apps you'd like to see me make with Quasar. Uh, let's see if this is working. So I'm going to click on Jim and I'm going to open this app up in another browser and log in as Jim. Okay, I'm already logged in as Jim on this browser. And I'll also grab Firebase and drag that over here so we can see what's going on with that. And I'll click on Danny on this browser. Okay, so let's send Jim a message now. I said, how are you? God damn it. And if we look at our database, we can see it's added a message to our data and to their data. We can see Firebase has created its own unique IDs for these messages. And let's just have a look at our browsers now. So we saw the message appear on our chat page. And we see the message appear on their chat page as well. However, on their page, it seems to be coming from Jim when it should be coming from Danny. So let's have a look at our database here. So the message that was added to our data here is from me. And the message that was added to their data is also from me. Okay, so I think I've done something a bit wrong here. Let's have a look at our code. Uh, okay, this line is wrong. I should be setting payload.message.from to them. So I'll just change this to payload.message.from. I'll save that. And I'll jump back to the Firebase console and I'll delete these two messages that have been added. And let's try that again. So I'll click on Jim on this one, click on Danny on this one. Um, we'll send a message again. I said, how are you? God damn it. Okay, that seems to be working now. We can see the message from us on our device and we can see it from Danny on Jim's browser. And if we look at the data, yep, the message in our data is from me and the message in their data is from them. And you may have noticed that we saw these messages appear instantly on both of these devices. So how did that happen? Well, if we jump back to our store file and we look at this Firebase get messages action that we created, we have this child added hook here, which is fired every time a new child is added underneath this node here. So underneath the chats, our user ID and their user ID. So when we save this new message to the database, that child added hook is fired and we then add that message to our state, to our messages object here. Okay, so let's see if Jim can send a message to Danny. Screw you, buddy. Yeah, that's working. You can see the message instantly on both devices. Now, if I go back out of this chat and go back in, we now have a bit of a problem with ordering. You can see it's placed our two new messages before our original two messages. So why is that happening? Well, if we look at our Firebase database, it's because of these message IDs that we've hard coded in, message ID one and message ID two. However, these IDs that Firebase generates automatically will always be ordered correctly. So I'm just gonna delete all of this chats object and start again with a new chat. So I'll jump to both these browsers, go back out and go back in to the chat. 
and we'll have a new chat and hopefully the ordering should be preserved now. So, hi Jim, how are you? Jim says, pretty good. Danny, how are you? And Danny says, I was better before I spoke to you. And Jim's going to say, screw you. Okay, so let's go back out and go back in and see if the ordering is preserved. So, hi Jim, how are you? Pretty good, Danny, how are you? I was better before I spoke to you and screw you. I'll do the same on Jim's browser. Yeah, and all the ordering is preserved now because these IDs in Firebase that are generated when we use the push method will always be stored in the order in which they're added to the database. Okay, so all of the core functionality of this app is basically done. We can register users, log in users, we can display a list of users, click on a user, have a chat with them, send them a message, we can receive a message. So in the next video, we're gonna add some finishing touches to just polish this app up a little bit. Make sure you click my head to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment. If you wanna grab the source code for this app, go to dannys.link slash code. And if you wanna learn all of the basics of Quasar Framework, Vue.js, Vuex and Firebase, and check out my full course at dannys.link slash quasar.